guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the final episode of Sasaki Dimiano. Okay, so before we even get started, but we're going to talk more about this when the episode is over. But, literally, while I was like, I was like, let me go ahead, let me put this on my timeline for my freaking, to edit after I'm done with this and stuff. So I got a little spoiled on, you know little little thingy at the end that yes a new anime production is in store for this series i don't know if it's going to be season two for it but it could be something else but like i said we will talk more about that but congratulations i'm so happy because i really enjoyed this show i mean i've said it quite so many freaking times and such that this show was so freaking good and that i wish a lot of people were watching it a lot more hell like i said i had a friend who has a different feeling on this show but i am so glad that he was able to watch like a little bit of it but just be like at the same time and it's not really his thing and that's okay it's not always everyone's thing but like once again i'm so happy this show has like a season two or a new anime production i wonder what it is but like i said when we finish the episode we'll go more in depth into it to what i think it might be and then you know final thoughts in here and there but other than that let's go ahead and get started with the final episode in three two one go i'm so nervous though like <laughs> because anything can happen today it's the last episode Stop him. Well, He's already gone.
well. Yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just like a, you know, anything else. Yeah, I think your parents will also be okay with it as well. Yeah. That's a good answer. I'm about to cry. <laughs> I know, it's so fucking cute. <laughs> Remember, he works at a bakery. Yeah, you still never win, didn't you? Yeah, because I know, yeah, because no consent. But, I mean, the way he was gonna give it to you, like, ah! Yeah, you are. And, and it's okay to be upset about that.
Because you know somebody, if they really, really like you, they'll do things that you like. Even if they're not into it. I mean, hey, you know, if I had a guy, a freaking boyfriend, who was like, yeah, I like Star Wars, even though I'm not into Star Wars like that. But I would still go see it with him because he likes it. And you do that for them. You do that because you care for them. Good job on apologizing, baby.
so cute. such a crime You know, gotta be scheming. Hmm? <laughs> oh, I get that. <laughs> exactly. So we need that by the end of the series that you guys are officially dating. Give me your phone number. <laughs> The 
this show was so fucking good. Like, oh my god, I hate the fact that it's over! It's so fucking good. But final thoughts, like I said, this was good. The wait, the slow burn was worth it. I mean, I like I said before, I get it why people were like this with this show. I've seen other shows very similar to this. And at first, like like I said, comparing this to this and Bloomin' to you, but I've seen something before Bloomin' to you where I was like, like, come on now. But I think this and Bloomin' to you really makes you appreciate the slow pace kind of relationship where they're like slowly but surely getting into their relationship instead of it always being like fast and hot and heavy. And it's just like what a regular relationship should be like. Whether whether you're with a guy, a girl, ever. That's what it's supposed to be like. First slow, then hot and heavy, and then the mixture of slow and hot and heavy. And such. But it was really good. Like, oh my god. Week after week. I mean, damn, y'all made me cry. You made me cry! I wasn't ready to cry today. I didn't want to cry today, but something told me. I was like, I'm going to cry over this today. Like, I was like, if we see them kiss today. If we see them kiss today. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're gonna walk past each other, aren't they? Or like somewhere, something. Mm -hmm. Well, now you're right. <laughs> They already did. Mm hmm Yeah, after they kissed. Like, several times. That was good. That's how you end a first freaking season and such. Whether or not it was still freaking good. This is like, the, cause see, oh my god, it, it's 2022 and I still want Bloom into you to get a second freaking season. Okay, so now let's go into talking about the new anime being greenlit. Okay, so if it is season two, then we get to see more adventures with these two. And I would be very happy about it. I want to see more of their relationships. The good, the bad, everything in between. Especially how with the chairman saying like, oh, hey, you're going to have people, you know, be against you and be like, well, why do you want to be in a relationship with him and such? And I want to see that and, and have those questions be asked towards these two. And the fact is, how would they both manage it being together and everything? And just, you know, any little things that are going to go or come their way in whatever volume we are. Are we on volume 5 or volume 6 for this series, manga-wise? 
Um, because of course, Sasaki is graduating, you know, so gonna be in high school, so I wonder how they're just, how is this really gonna go? Now, they could do that, or, a big or, they could do, I think it's a spinoff of, of Hirano, and whoever Hirano ends up dating. Um, which that would be really interesting to see like what he's been up to while these two were on their own story and their relationship and their romance and stuff. And what the guy, um, who, cause he falls in love with a guy who's, he's, a, he's rooming with and such, I believe. Um, from what I did like research from like, I think week two or three of this show and how me <laughs> and my guy friend who was watching this show with me. We were both because he, he has a, <laughs> alright, let's go ahead and share this. Alright, so, okay, so funny enough, we all know that Hirano is voiced by the guy who plays Kirito and SAO and Inosuke and Demon Slayer, and so he has a huge crush on him because, on Kirito and such, and so, because when he watched, like, the first two episodes of this show, and he heard Hirano, he was like, I don't hear Hirano, I just hear Kirito. And so he literally started calling him Kirito, and I was like, no, it's Hirano. And so, um, we were both, like, really head over heels in, light, in love with this dude. But, of course, like, this one's like, no, dibs, dibs. <laughs> we're going back and forth with this. We're like, I think we did this, like, three weeks straight until, like, I, I was like, you know what, here, you, you take him, I'll take Kirito. But I, I still have a little bit of Hirano because hey you know you could share but I, I really do want to see that I think it would be very interesting if they decided to go both routes with this to give like this spin-off and the continuation of the volumes in the anime form because it would be nice just to see both stories like at least different times kind of how like with um the love live series how you have Love Live, then Love Live Sunshine, then Love Live Nijigasaki School Idol Club, and Love Live Superstar, and how those two are literally airing in two different seasons of anime. So we're going into spring, here's Nijigasaki School School Idol Club Season 2, and then summer, here's Superstar coming in with my five girls and such. And it's just like, damn, we are, we're, we're just, we're getting it. We're getting it, and we're going in. Or how, um... I'm trying to think of something else. Like, okay, uh, fuck. Okay, like, Shield Hero. How, okay, it feels like just yesterday. Shield Hero Season 1 was done. We are about to not go into Season 2. Or Kaguya-sama. Season 2 just finished, like, what, two years ago? We're already into Season 3. You actually, officially in, like, what, two weeks? So, I, I would love to see these two, like, air at the same time. That's a little hopeful. However long it really takes for them to animate it, whether it takes a year, two years, whatever... If they want to wait until fall to, like, have that kind of little mid-gap between this show and the next show, it's fine. If they want to wait a whole year after, like, a year anniversary for this, that's sweet, too. They could literally do anything for it, but, like, whatever they're going to do next, the possibilities are endless, and you never know what they're really going to do. I would also like to possibly see an OVA, just like they did with um, Kaze-san, and how they did, you know so much for that series like first they did a music video for it and then they did the OVA and then it was like oh hey go read the manga if you want to see the rest but still at the same time you I was like I think when I, the day that I finished that show um I was like I need this to be a full-length series where it's like 12 episodes each and stuff or 24. That's something else I kind of want to see for this show. Instead of 12, I kind of want to see 24 episodes because I feel like you can get more story bits and everything within 24 episodes rather than 12. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I, I love the 12 episodes. That's kind of the same thing how I felt with um, my Dress Up Darling and how I kind of wish the, both of these shows' episode lengths were a little bit longer. Oh, episode length. Episode count were a little bit longer because it feels like we're just beginning to know these characters and then, you know, the show ends and then it's like, who knows when the hell this show is going to get a potential season two or season three or season four because of the fact is, you know, like I've said before in the past, merch sales, book sales, whatever, because, of course, it's different in Japan than it is here in America when it comes to... um watching something here in america it, it's all about how many people are there sit either sitting at home watching it or sitting at home 
having it being recording because they're ha- they're counting people who watch it live and they're counting the people or televisions that watch it through like not streaming but like recording because that also counts to see if a show um, gets renewed for a second or third season while in Japan it of course is merch sales and you never know how much it is and then you know production and all that it's, it's a whole ball game that I would still love to know you know maybe one day they might do an anime on that you never know because like <laughs> everything can be animated you never freaking know but other than that guys that was my reaction view towards the entire first season of Suzaki to me you know if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day show the master squad and of course i will see you guys later on in the week preferably probably thursday or friday for the start of spring anime and i need to get started on making thumbnails and playlists but until then i will see you guys all next time bye